All right, folks, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, we only have two of these left, two free sessions. So, Tom, yep, you're in here with a normal AR, Accelerated Retirement Brief. Uh, we're not going to do weekly options today. For my members, we're going to do a weekly options trade in here. So I'm kind of doing a joint brief because otherwise I was going to be doing three webinars today and I have to pack for San Diego. So that's not going to happen. Let's plan on doing weekly options uh, in here. And then the final free full throttle brief will be tonight at 8 p.m. So very excited. A couple people have already snuck in. I forgot that on the replay page is actually it says click here to enlist. So several smart people already are members so welcome aboard um uh, so real quick before we even jump in here how many of you are worried concerned or freaked out today uh just give me a quick why meaning yes in the uh, in the chat box um dow's down what 372 or something right now anybody freaked out um good some people not expecting this, a little bit, not worried, nope. Almost all of my, because I recognize most of the names, nobody's nervous, exactly. Uh, somebody asked before I jumped on the air, are you still in the Goldman Sachs trade from yesterday? Why would I not be? I went through my commit criteria yesterday and none of my commit criteria have changed. This is not the big one. This is a excellent buying opportunity and I'm gonna teach you a tactic today to take advantage of this. <clears throat> of this uh, pullback here, uh, and remember, and remember, uh, the well, we'll get into it in a second. But let, let me just give you a little start to my day. Uh, woke up, immediate what? Meditation. My voice is a little hoarse from the Panthers game last night that sucked, uh, but uh, had a great time. Scott was there, one of our TGO members. Uh, Panthers looked awful last night. Anyway. I woke up and I did what? Meditated. Then what did I do? Opened up my eyes, got a cup of coffee and looked at what? The futures, they were imploding. My reaction, I don't care. Uh, nice and at ease and absolutely centered. I can tell you old me would have been like, ah, shit, oh man, what do I do, whatever. And then what happened as soon as the open bell sounded? I sold my short Amazon calls and made $6,000. I sold two sets of short calls on Mara and made about $6,000. Four and 1,700, 5,700, whatever. Close to 11, 10 grand, taking profit on short calls. <clears throat> and I'm getting ready to put those back on. Uh, and then what did I do? I went to yoga, man. I'm not wearing my, a nice polo shirt right now because I just walked in the door. Um, you can do absolutely nothing sitting here staring at your screen unless you are Luke Skywalker and can meditate with the force and levitate markets. What good is it sitting here? Go out, take a walk, go to yoga, meditate. It does absolutely no good. I feel so sad for people who trade eight hours a day and like stare at the screen, these swing traders and stuff like that. Nope. Well, to the most I'm trading today was the 10 minutes it took me to get out of those short calls and take some nice profits. And with you guys, that's it. When I got a pack, gonna run out to the airport, uh, got to button up the jet, do some stuff. This is fun, this is awesome. And this is a great learning opportunity for us today. So this is why I'm excited. I love days like this. Maybe I manifested this because this is a great time for you to join because I can show you how to make profits um, <clears throat> In times like this, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, exactly, guys. If you like to stock up here, you love it down here. This is, these are buying opportunities. Every one of these implosions I said is what? Buy it. Buy it with both hands. We do, and we print money. Last year, what did I say? Every implosion, don't buy it. What did the smart money say? buy it misery loves company so we're almost done but today before we get into ar and me show you a uh, a couple tactical trades but also talk about a long-term bullish trade since we are in ar accelerated uh, retirement um we'll talk about a longer term trade uh and then uh to tonight is our last and 
No, I'll do it today live because I want to place this trade. Maybe we'll talk about the tactic more in depth tonight. That's what we're going to do. I love doing this stuff on the fly. Uh, so this slide is wrong. There are not 50 annual memberships available right now. I don't know how many there are. I saw last night uh, a bunch go through because, like I said, on the replay page was the link to purchase. So I'll give you the link here in a couple minutes. So that's, uh, I forget, there's 40 something annual uh, memberships today. We close the doors at 50, folks. Do not be 51. I think the people that got in early were the people from that didn't get in for the last full throttle. Trust me, try and be 51 in email support. We don't, we don't need uh, a ton of people here. We like our close, tight knit squadron. <clears throat> so, if you don't get fit now, listen up. If if you're not ready for an annual membership for that type of commitment, if we don't get our full 50 tonight or tomorrow, uh, like I said, I'm up at the crack of dawn. I have a 7:30 flight to San, Di San Diego. Uh, maybe I'll open up some uh, monthly memberships to fill the 50. I'd prefer to get the 50 because uh, it's a nice group uh, of astronauts to all go through uh, together. <clears throat> Quick reminder for full throttle training. We'll probably do the next one, I don't know, June or July. What do I mean the next one? The next group of eight classes where we get together on Tuesdays and Thursday nights with a glass of wine and we train, baby on every tactic. Do me a favor and make sure you have a paper trading account. You have got to go to the simulator before you ever risk any real capital, okay? Paper trade, paper trade, paper trade. And I'm currently in a federal lawsuit with a guy who accuses me of only paper trading, and he clearly doesn't see my million dollar brokerage account that I trade my own money. So we'll see him in federal court. Guy's a convicted Wall Street fraudster. Uh, it's going to be a good time taking him to the cleaners. Uh, so eight live sessions, like I said. So here's the deal. Once you become a member today, you're going to have some homework. You're going to go watch the last eight full throttle sessions. Watch them Watch them twice, watch them 15 times. Every time you watch one of them, you will learn something new. I'll show you where to watch them on the replay, but you got to, this is, before I started flight school in the Navy, I got there like a month or two early. I got my books. I locked myself in my one bedroom house out in the middle of the woods, uh, outside of Pensacola, man, in Milton, Florida, and I studied. Okay, this is serious stuff, folks. I could have died if I sucked. In here, you're going to, lose money which sucks too so you are going to be ordered to watch the previous full throttles from the last quarter the tactics don't change an iron condor was an iron condor 20 years ago and will be 20 years from now but what uh, does change is the application of it right what i talked about two months ago with an iron condor is different market conditions right so it's always cool because in military training Military training always started with a real world application. Like, hey, we're doing this training today because this is what's going on with country X or whatever. Same thing in the full throttle training, okay? Here's the flight schedule for when we do full throttle. I haven't picked dates yet. It's four weeks long. Uh, some nights or some weeks it's only one week that night because my kids have hockey or something like that, right? So <clears throat> your daughter lives in Milton, that's funny. So. It is a building block approach here at Top Gun Options. If you don't know what you're doing in the market, welcome home. If you know everything that you're doing in the market, you don't, and you're gonna fail miserably. <laughs> I'm serious. I learned something every day. My last flight in the F-18 Hornet with nearly 3,000 hours in that aircraft, I learned something. The day you stop learning is the day you might as well check out. Here's what we do in at Top Gun Options with our full throttle program. We have the training, then we have the practical application, which you're sitting in right now, what is called a live trade brief. Every Tuesday at 10 a.m., we do what's called the PLTB, the primary live trade brief. You were in it yesterday. Today, you're sitting in it right now, AR, accelerated retirement. Now, if you're a skier, you kind of recognize the shapes and the colors. It's not based on ease. It's kind of based on mindset. AR, accelerated retirement, should be longer dated uh, trades. Last year, the AR portfolio made $967,000 starting with 100 grand. If you had 10 grand, drop off a, a decimal place and look at what you would have made. It was, we had a fantastic time. Then after AR on Wednesdays, 
we usually take a break, go get a cup of coffee, stretch our legs, and come back and do what's called weekly options. Some folks just join the individual services, that, that's why. But for, with full throttle, you get access to everything that's going to be on the screen. And Thursday at 10 a.m., we do what's called a weekly debrief. What do you do in that? You debrief all of this stuff. Or sometimes we even place trades on Thursday. If I, I'm seeing something's going on on a Thursday in the debrief, we fire a trade. Uh, before you ask, let me answer. Solo Amazon is another service we do here at Topkin Options. It's not part of what's on the screen. Okay, It's every Monday at noon. We have an Amazon bull put spread that uh, uh, was up, what, 50% yesterday? I showed you. Uh, my SOP, I tried to get out of it, and I didn't get filled. If you're looking at a 40, 50, 60, 4, 5, 6, if you're looking at a 40, 50, 60% gain uh, in a credit spread in a day, close it. I didn't get filled, but I'm okay with it because here comes Amazon climbing out of the, uh, the depths. So solo Amazon is not included in full throttle. It's only 97 bucks. Uh, you get a 25% discount. If you want to do a year, it's $8.97 for a year. You can email support if you want to add uh, solo uh, Amazon. So, Dean, what happens for the folks that are working their other job at 10 a.m., noon, and TPN? Uh, Dean, you didn't watch the replays because I've covered this. We send out text and email alerts in the live trade brief. Yesterday, I demonstrated that. I sent out a text alert and an email alert. They fire at the same time. You get a text alert with the trade, then you get an email with the screenshots of the trade. And then what happens 30 minutes after the brief, it takes about 30 minutes for the recording to render on my computer, the replay is posted. 80% last survey we did at the company, 80% of you work and can't make the live trade briefs. There's a guy who sent me a, uh, uh, a screen or a, a comment that's did, dude, this is my first brief live with you. I've been a member here for three years and uh, was working during all those times. He only knew me from the replays, um, <clears throat> which was pretty, which was pretty cool. Let me find something. I need to find something here. All right. Well, I'm going to read this in a couple minutes here because uh, I just got this yesterday and this kind of brought a tear to my eye because I, I, I told you about this the other day and it's, and this guy just sent me this. So I'm going to show you this email in a second here <clears throat> that I got yesterday. Uh, what was this for? Oh, I wrote a couple of, the, the COVID crash is coming out. It's being edited. It's a long process, but uh, that's the first book I wrote from sea level to sea level. About seven people ordered that yesterday. I signed them all. I went to Office Depot and they are on their, uh, their way. Okay. <clears throat> And then COVID crash, like I said, is coming out uh, pretty soon. We are going to do some live events coming up. San Antonio, join me uh, in San Antonio on the Riverwalk. We're going to be shooting with Navy SEALs and Green Berets and Delta Force operators. And we're going to be drinking with cowboy hats and boots on uh, to support the Warrior Health Foundation. Um, and then Fort Lauderdale, the, you have got to be in Fort Lauderdale in November on the weekend of November 20th, we're doing, I rented out the IMAX, catered, 150 people, everybody's got to be in a flight suit, the world premiere of Maverick, be here, Top Gun Options, I'm going to have, uh, my buddy is uh, AJ Buckley uh, from CBS SEAL, team. I'm going to have, he's going to try and bring, uh, what's his name, a couple of the other SEAL team, CBS SEAL team guys, we're going to have real dudes there as well, and um, not, I can't, uh, I will not name names unless they allow me. And I, so we'll see. Be, in a, be there. So being a member of Top Gun Options has uh, its advantages. Earlier in the week, I released the new paint scheme for the two fighter jets. One that we've acquired. I've flown it the other day and had a blast. The other one I'm buying, uh, it's over in Houston. I got to find some time to get it. So we're going to have Foundation 1 and Foundation 2. Um, and if you are an ardent supporter of the Top Gun Fighter Foundation, maybe we'll throw you in the back seat. Okay. <clears throat> Chris, yeah, we will have ticket sales coming up. All right. Here's what you're going to get. And then we got to get the trading. I hate this stuff. I hate the marketing stuff, but I'm not a charity. So here it comes. Here's what you're going to get today. Four skill-based live trade briefs. Weekly options, folks. It had that black diamond. That doesn't mean expert. That just means they're a lot more tactical. Right. I send a weekly option straight out on a Monday or Tuesday. It expires that Friday. 
not like a monthly option that expires a month out, or what is called a LEAP, which expires years out, a weekly option expires, say it with me, that week. So skill-based live trade briefs, four of them. Um, you're gonna get access to the eight full throttle training sessions where we take a building block approach. If you don't know what you're doing, you will know what you're doing. I told you about Pensacola, folks. We can take somebody who's never even seen an airplane before and teach them how to do that. <clears throat> Smack, those are fighter jets, man. They, carry, they can carry heat-seeking missiles and they carry bombs. So it is a fighter jet, man. Hey, Smack, if they call, if Air Force guys call an A-10 or A-10 guys, fighter pilots, I'm going to do the same thing. Cracks me up. The A-10s, you know, whatever. Three skill-based manuals. Primary, intermediate, and advanced, those are your workbooks. You already have access to the trade plan and the PCL, uh, and obviously you get the text alerts uh, and the emails. So, uh, okay, live trade briefs, we already covered this. Let me go through that, I already covered that. Oh, and whoever asked this, this was for you. You don't have to attend the live trading sessions, folks. Everything's sent out immediately via text and email. Everything's recorded. Um, but here's a quick heads up. If you logged in, some of you logged in early and saw what? Me trading and doing stuff and then looking at Intel and texting uh, my investment clubs. I open up the door because I'm putting the ladder down. Make sure you're early. I operate on Lombardi time, which is military time. If you're not 15 minutes early, you're late. So if you log in and you see stuff going on and you don't hear sound, I'm not talking. I'm working. I'm not working. I'm passionate about this. I love it. <clears throat> so uh that's me work that's i'm just kind of showing you what i do uh beforehand oh yeah this guy chris i'm so geeked been a subscriber for almost three years now and this is my first time i've been able to attend live i only know you via the replays okay so if you work welcome to the club everybody here works right um <clears throat> all right uh, to, 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 that's the, we already reviewed that. Here's the workbooks you're going to get, the primary, intermediate, and advanced workbooks. Those things are awesome. I, I got to be honest with you. I have these things printed out. I reread them every once in a while. I, I knock the rust off. These are, these are fantastic. These are 197 bucks uh, alone on the website. Um, the, you have to watch the last full throttle. Once you become a member, go watch the eight previous ones, period. No excuse. Uh, for you not to watch those because like I said, I'm leaving tomorrow for San Diego. I'll be back Tuesday. You got four trading days to get up to speed. Okay, let me give you the link so people, if you're ready to go, like I said, if we don't get all the monthly folks, um, I, I might, or I'm sorry, all the annual, I might, might open some uh, Monthlies. Let me read this email real quick. I got this yesterday at 11.30, May 18th, 11.39. <clears throat> Hi, Wiz. Thank you very much for all the training you have given me since I joined the quarterly Full Throttle Max uh, in February of 20. Your lesson, so that's about a year ago, your lesson started uh, as I got a baptism by fire during the March COVID crash. Then I learned how to deal with a V-shaped recovery, and now I'm learning what to do in the market channels. You have taught me to trade options. I have never done that before, and I swore I never would trade <laughs> options. Uh, how to trade options. Book learning and, uh, about tactics is not the same as real life execution. How to think about, about the market. Fundamental analysis and technical analysis are subordinate to the psychoanalysis of liars poker. I have a new appreciation for the power of this force. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this guy. Don't listen to me. The academic work is done. The simulator work is done. The test flights are done. Now it's time to leave school and go to work. I will be incorporating your teaching into my investment and trading plans. When my subscription comes up for renewal, don't renew it. You can use my slot to take one more person you recruit this week. Thanks and best regards. Folks, this is my metric for success. This is it. I don't want you here forever. My marketing team cringes when I say that. It's the truth. You don't go to Top Gun forever. You go, you do what this guy said, Jim, you put the patch on your shoulder and you go out to the fleet. Right? Most businesses keep you this. No, don't go. 
go, man. I that this means I did it. I did what I promised this. Uh, uh, what I promised Jim. What a great. This brought a tear to my eye. I told you the other day, and this is exact. This is the email uh, that I got. This is fantastic. So Jim, I don't know if you're in here. Thanks you for this, uh, and, and I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Here is the link to get airborne. I'd say about 85 to 90 percent of the membership here. Uh, Arena, if we don't fill up all the annuals, you can do monthly. You gotta, you gotta hang out and see if by tonight or tomorrow, uh, if I fill up all the annuals, folks, we're not going to do monthlies. Unfortunately, I, I prefer uh, teaching and working with people who are ready to go and and ready to take uh, the uh, uh, commitment. I did last quarter's full throttle training and it was awesome. Thank you, uh, Mark. So $29.95 is Max Afterburn. You just click on this blue button right here and it'll take you to the order page. If you do full throttle max, you get access to everything I just said. Now we have two lesser priced offensive and defensive tracks. If you're sitting here going, you know what? Those weekly options just probably ain't for me right now. They're a little too tactical. Do the defensive track. It's only $24.95 for a year. You know what, Wiz? I don't need the – instead of weekly options, you do accelerated retirement in, in your little package. It's like going in the melting pot. We're, we're picking our plate here. Wiz, I don't need the longer-dated conservative accelerated retirement trades. I'll, I'll take weekly options instead. Well, then do the offensive track. These are both $24.95. Like I said – just about everybody's over here. But we do get people who kind of do the, nah, I'm not really in the mood for weekly options yet, or I'm not in the mood for conservative trades. If that's you, do one of these. They're the same price. You just you're just missing one of the one of the services. Like I said, 90% of our membership is over here. So one more time for the folks in the back. If I don't get all the annuals, I will release some monthlies. I think the month I forget what the monthlies are. 295, 295 bucks a month. I don't know. Don't quote me. Okay. Yeah, the link is in the chat box. Uh, here's also a way you can purchase on the, I, I forgot this, these were on here, the replay page. If you click on this green button on the replay page, you can grab it. Good recovery out of the SPX. We, I got to get going because we got to cover this trade here uh, before it really, uh, the SPX really bounces here. <clears throat> Graham, it was about 10 years ago I did it and learn every time. If I can do it from Australia, uh, everybody can. Thank you, Graham. Graham's down under. Graham's, it's what, the crack of dawn down there? Graham burns the mid oil. Here's the replay from yesterday's primary live trade brief. If you click on, click here to view the trade, you can click on that and it'll take you to what? I actually made uh, the member page public where I posted this trade uh, for the members. It should be taking you to see the trade. And it isn't. <laughs> That's my bad. Here's the trade from yesterday. I'll fix that. Primary live trade brace. <clears throat> Here's yesterday's Goldman Sachs trade, which I would do right now if you didn't do it yesterday. You can actually even get a better price. Let me let me put this link in the chat box here. This is the Goldman Sachs bull put spread from yesterday. I have absolutely zero concern about this pullback today. If I loved Goldman Sachs yesterday, I, I'm, I'm taking it on a honeymoon today. So there you go. <clears throat> Bob, Wiz, started with free, then monthly, then yearly now, and a lifetime member, the best money I ever spent. That's awesome. Uh, Bob, I'm going to grab that. You guys are great. I'm going to grab. So you guys can read what I'm seeing in the chat box right here. I'll say bass. So there you go, Bob. Bob did the Bob did the progression <laughs> monthly to annual. Okay, like I said, guys, this I do this once. A, I don't <clears throat> excuse me. I don't mark it all the time. We do this once a quarter, and then we close the doors. Why? Because I can't stand this stuff. To be honest with you, this is why I do full throttle. I open the doors for. for I love when people after four days of seeing this stuff go, do you have a trial? I'm like, Did, that, that was the trial. Some other places charge for access for four days. I don't. So there are no trials, guys. <laughs> this is it. All right. 
Uh, it's in the chat box, guys. Twenty nine ninety five. There are no free trials. I love. Uh, I, I've never been a, a trial guy anyway. You open the doors, people check it out. If they don't like it, they don't like it. So everything's on the, this page, which uh, with what you're going to get with the full throttle training. Again, the only thing that's not included here is solo Amazon. I think actually when you go to buy, um, a, a little box, speaking of Amazon, pops up that says, hey, would you like to do solo Amazon? Uh, I, I'd probably do it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I followed Wiz for almost 10 years by email, joined Afterburner last year. Now I'm a lifer in a good way, and I will help as many other members as I can. I get a lot of energy from being a member here and putting the ladder down. So that's Goose. Goose is a great American, even though he's an Air Force guy. My motto is the Air Force is barely on our side, but you know we'll allow them to hang out with us. Um, all right, cool. Yes, the link to buy is in the chat box. It's it's pretty easy to remember. It's go.topgunoptions.com slash get FT. That stands for get full throttle. <clears throat> There's Tamara. I was getting worried. Uh, so Tamara, when did we meet? We met down in Miami. My, what was that? 2016, maybe? So everybody read this together. Who is she? Tamara is my little old lady in tennis shoes. Everybody read this with me. I think I'm your poster woman for your little old lady in tennis shoes. Since starting almost four years ago, I've attended every full throttle training 13 times and counting and can never thank you enough for all that you have learned that I've learned and mostly for the camaraderie of TGO members. She is here for life. Wow. Look at that. Thank you, man. That's fantastic, Tamara. Tamara lives up in the Great White North. Hopefully, we're going to get her down here to Florida. Uh, too cold up there being a cheesehead. All right, good stuff. All right, enough marketing. We'll do a little bit more marketing tonight in case uh, we don't get all our 50. Steve, one, one more time, guys. I am looking for 50 annual members first. If we don't get all the annual members, I'll release some monthly slots. I don't know what they are, 295 bucks or something like that a month, I think. Or that went up. I don't know. Everything's going up. Inflation. <clears throat> all right, guys. Uh, let's get going. Uh, here's, your, uh, here's your daily Joe Biden's destroying this country announcement. And uh, Secretary of Defense Austin, probably one of the most racist people uh, you'll see. Um, Pentagon plans to monitor social media of military personnel for extremist content. You ready for this? They haven't done this in the past. Why? Because of First Amendment protections. Are you listening to me? So guess what the Pentagon's doing? They're going to use an outside firm. The pilot program will rely on a private surveillance firm in order to circumvent First Amendment restrictions on government monitoring. I'm going to let that sentence sink in, guys. And of course, by extremist content, they're not talking about Black Lives Matter or Antifa people. They're talking about former President Trump supporters. You guys awake? You want to watch something disgusting? I'm going to share this link with you. I want everybody, when you get a free moment, <clears throat> I want you to scroll down in the link I just put in here, and I want you to watch these three videos. The U.S. no longer has a credible conventional military force. Correct. I want you to watch the recent United States Army recruitment video. It's a lady talking about her two moms and the, it, it, it's all, it is a woke recruitment video about, it's, it's insane. I thought it was a joke. Then I want you to watch the Chinese recruitment video and the Russian. Watch these three recruitment videos. And tell me how you're feeling about the United States military and the direction of our country. Secretary of Defense Austin, in order to break the Constitution 
and your First Amendment protection in the United States military is going to use an outside firm. The Chinese and Russian military is focused on killing as many American soldiers as possible. We're focused on Sergeant Amy with her two mothers. It's insanity. Why do I bring this up? Ladies and gentlemen, when, not if, China, and, oh, and on the Global Times today, with the, China's in a, Xi and Putin witnessed groundbreaking uh, of key cooperative and nuclear energy products. Did you see what happened two, three months ago after Joe Biden got inaugurated? Xi and Putin met and they came up with a new strategic alliance. We're going to get the shit beat out of us from the right side of the globe and the left. Do you think Joe Biden strikes fear in the hearts of Xi and Putin? What's this have to do with the markets? Everything. Absolutely everything. Yeah, Peter, the Pentagon just admitted that they're going around the Constitution. This company they're going to use has drawn criticism for its practice of buying bulk cellular location data and selling it to national security agencies like the Secret Service. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm also hearing from people, buddies who are still on active duty, that they're coming up with forms that say, hey, do you think one of anybody in our squadrons in Extremis submitted an anonymous report here? Welcome to 1984. You will get thrown out of the military for some stuff. But anyway, <clears throat> In the COVID crash, ladies and gentlemen, back in January of 2020 and February of 2020, what did I tell you happened? I told you, I told TGO members, I said, I know firsthand, more or less, I knew exactly what President Trump was being briefed, the United States senators were being briefed, and the Congress people were being briefed. I'll take that to the grave. But what did I share with you? I said, what was going on every weekend in 2020? Four million protesters every weekend in Hong Kong were shutting Hong Kong down. Do you remember Xi Jinping sending forces outside of Hong Kong? The world thought there was going to be another Tiananmen Square, right? He's going to, did you see what was going on in Hong Kong? People were wearing MAGA hats, running around with American flags. I posted uh, graffiti. Give me lip. They were writing Patrick Henry quotes in, in spray paint in Hong Kong. Give me liberty or give me death. Donald Trump absolutely failed. At the beginning of this, he said what? Uh, as you know, uh, Hong Kong's part of China now. None of my business. Xi's a good dude. Not uh, what, uh, Who cares? After like 20, 48 hours, people got to him like, uh, you're an idiot. They're fighting for democracy, dude. It used to be a British possession. Oh, yeah. Uh, we support peace in Hong Kong and uh, freedom. Too late. Trump failed at that. Here's what I'm getting at. Every weekend, four million protesters on the streets. Xi Jinping did not want what? A Tiananmen Square, did he? He could have went in there and cracked skulls. He didn't. So you have four million people in Hong Kong protesting, and you also have an island called Taiwan that you say is yours. It's a renegade province. We say it's an independent country. We sell it arms. If you were Xi Jinping or you were China, how would you placate? How would you subdue 4 million protesters? And how would you take over an island without firing a shot? You don't have to answer. I'll tell you. You get them sick. And then you race in on your white horse with the vaccine and rescue all of them. COVID-19, ladies and gentlemen, came out of the only level four weapons facility in China. They were experimenting with bats and dogs this COVID. You know, by the way, that COVID's got H, uh, HIV strain in it? Google that. Um, they were trying to weaponize this COVID to be worse than the normal flu with a, a, a let, let me give you the summary slide. Here's the deal. Guess what's right down the street from the Wuhan level four lab? The disgusting wet market. 
You know what happened in the lab? After they got done doing a bunch of experiments on the bats, cats, and dogs, what are you supposed to do with them? You burn them. They told Ching Chang Pao, hey, dude, we're done with these experiments. Make sure you burn them. We're going home for the day. You know what those people did instead of burning them? They took them to the wet market to sell them. That's how COVID got out. It was supposed to be a weapon. When I, I, guys, cash is trash, Dalio, Donald Trump and Davos. It's not coming here. Why are you even asking me? I'm like, he's lying. And I nailed it. I made millionaires. What happened after I said, get out and let's make millionaires? Wuhan, they ripped up the highways around the place. I showed videos that were sneaking out of troops throwing people in vans. They knew what it was. I was the Paul Revere. What happened yesterday? A communist professor declared that the U.S. was defeated last year in a biological war with China. To we put America back in its place. This is a CCP, Chinese Communist Party affiliated think tank. It was translated by a Chinese blogger yesterday. This attack was unprecedented. Last year, we won the trade war, science and technology war, and especially the biological war in 2020. For the love of God and all things holy, why isn't this on breaking news? Un. After this trade war and biological war, the U.S. has been beaten back into its original shape. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, and by the way, don't even get me started on Fauci and the National Institutes of Health funding Wuhan lab. Here I will post this article. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this, I, I, I told you. I was it, man. I was the only guy on the face of this planet that connected all these dots and made people millionaires. And then when the market rebounded, I'm like, done, we're bullish. Oh, no, we're going lower again. I'm like, no, we're not. Did you not listen, Joe Rumpel? You're an idiot. The smart, we, we destroyed the so-called smart money uh, last year, and we're doing it this year, too. Anyway, all right, let's go. Again, folks, why did I just take that 10 minutes to ramble about this? Because the market only cares when it cares. This dude just admitted that this was a bio. I know it was a biological weapon. I just told you. They wanted to use it in Hong Kong and Taiwan. Whoops, it escaped. Oh, and by the way, it crippled the world. Oh. We are one breaking news story away from the Fred Sanford, ladies and gentlemen. We are at war with China. Period. Wake up to it. If you think Xi Jinping uh, is worried about Joe Biden, uh, I mean, he bought his son, right? I brought my son on Air Force Two to China. He did a huge deal, multi-billion dollar deal for his hedge fund, but I never talked to him about it on the flight there or the flight back. I don't know what the hell he was doing. What? Imagine if that was Donald Trump Jr. He'd be in jail. Stupid crackhead son. Disgusting. Do you know that there's a child in the United States right now whose father is a crackhead and his grandfather is the president of the United States? And the grandfather hasn't seen his kid and the woman's a stripper. That's some good people. Bitcoin. Why are we imploding right now? Crypto, ladies and gentlemen. You guys, if you're new, if you're a free person right now, I predicted this. I'm going to tell you right now, crypto is a joke it's fake and the crypto supporters they're crypto scientologists i told you a year ago i said in the battle so three years ago i get it when the crypto thing came out well this blockchain thing and i have a key and i can do peer-to-peer -peer this and uncle sam doesn't know about it i'm like <laughs> okay okay if you think uncle sam ain't gonna know about something we have the effing pentagon spying on people you're gonna tell me that your peer-to-peer -peer transaction the IRS isn't going to care about someday. Okay, dude. So I missed the three years ago crypto, but I'm in it right now, right 
about pounding it into the dirt. Folks, it's made up. It's unhackable. North Korea stole 600 million. The guy that started the Turkish crypto exchange disappeared with 2 billion in crypto three weeks ago. It's a store of value, right? Or it's a currency. I don't even know what people call it. Gold's a store of value. What do you do with gold? You look at it. Can you eat it? Can you sleep in it? Can you drive it? Can you fly it? You might be able to use it as a weapon in a pillowcase. I'm going to tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, in, the, in, in a battle between a central government or central bank and a made-up currency, who do you think's going to win? So I'm not going to make this a huge crypto discussion um, because now let me read this. Ponch is in here, and he's, he's a brilliant guy. It, Bitcoin, is a narrative that is well-crafted for contagion, exactly, effectively capturing the anarchist spirit. And, of course, that is why most of us have heard about it. It is part bubble story, part mystery story. It allows non-experts and everyday people to participate in the narrative, allowing them to feel involved and even build their identity around it. Equally appealing, the narrative generates stories of untold riches. Wow, that's pretty good. It's a gambling device. Critics find its story similar to the famous, what did, Ponch, I, I'm so happy that Warren Buffett is a TGO member. I said this a year or two ago. I said it's the tulip mania in the Netherlands in the 1630s. Ladies and gentlemen, when you have Dave Portnoy, this idiot, a cocaine freak who does pizza reviews, he he bought this, what what did he buy the other day? Of course, I had to post this on here. Um, what the hell? Is, he bought some crypto the other day that was just made up. Space or something? What's the coin that he just bought? And he admitted it. He's like, it's made up. I don't know what it is, but I'm just buying it. Ladies and gentlemen, when on my Facebook page for the past month has been, uh, you know, Doge. How do I buy Doge? I have waitresses, you know, emailing me like, "Do you invest in Doge? How how do I get into it?" What the hell's the name of the crypto? Oh, Safe Moon. He bought some Safe Moon the other day. I don't even. So, guys, uh, if you want to invest in Bitcoin, here's how much you should invest. I want you to put an amount of money on your coffee table that you would just be thrilled to see lit on fire as you drank champagne and watched it burn. Of course it is, guys, on uh, this year's tax form. Do you trade cryptocurrency? It's over with, guys, period. Right? Tamara, you do not understand the technology behind the blockchain. There are bad entities in every business line, real estate. I believe it, Tamara. Uh, I, well, I do, I, here's what I understand about blockchain technology is that people say it's unhackable. And then last week, a bunch of hackers hacked into blockchain. So I don't need to know anything more about it until it, I love the Titanic blockchain people running around. It's unhackable. If men and women made it, men and women can hack into it, period. Not going to turn this into a, a shit show with crypto. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen. Why would you be trading in something? I've seen made up stuff. I've been doing this for three decades. Every time I've seen a bunch of people on Coke, uh, Red Bull, and no sleep, and 28 years at Goldman Sachs or wherever, come up with an idea to do something and made it up out of thin air, it's ended horrifically. For example, the subprime mortgage crisis. I was at ground zero, ladies and gentlemen, in the board of trade during the financial crisis. Let's take really bad debt, okay, and slice it up into really good bad debt and less really good bad debt. And it, what? I remember sitting there. I'm not even going to pretend I predicted the subprime crisis, but I remember around the time going, oh, my God, those people got to be stupid. Right? You got it, Edward. I agree. How about that poor guy? Who's the guy, uh, you know? You know, it, it's the dude who lost his passwords. He's got two chances left. He's got like, well, today he's probably got a dollar in Bitcoin, but a week ago he had like $8 billion in crypto in Bitcoin. 
He doesn't, he can't remember his password. It's like 90 characters long. It's just sitting there. So, <clears throat> you know, so anyway, guys, it, here's the deal. It, it's getting pummeled today because what? Oh, a government came in and said, yeah, this is bad. You're not, you listen guys, one more time. In the battle between a government and a central bank and some made up shit, you're going to lose every time. Now I get, I got crypto Scientologist buddies. I guarantee the guy, one of the guys I fly L39s with, he was my buddy. He's a JetBlue captain years ago. I didn't know it now. And I'm like, I don't get it. It's, it's made, what? It had its explosion. It had, it's already had its euphoria. Now it takes a couple of years for governments to go, oh, okay. So buyer beware. I want zero to do with it. You guys knock yourself out, have fun. I'd rather be in it. What did I tell you the other day? Free full throttle folks. When in doubt, run to Ma. How's Ma looking today? Microsoft, Apple, Amazon. Okay. So, but I'm talking crypto right now because why? Because that's why the market's imploding today. Remember, these folks who have never seen anything go down before start getting margin calls around two o'clock in the afternoon or three o'clock and like, oh crap. I need to sell some, what, what's a margin call? And who are you? Well, we need about 20 grand in your account right now. I don't have it. Well, then we're gonna start selling some stuff. Okay, so these type of things happen. They're violent, they're unpleasant. Um, so yeah, I, I, guys, I get it, man. I, you know, I get that it went down, it bounced off 30 or whatever. I really don't care. Uh, I'm, I'm in Mara, that's my exposure to the crypto. And I know totally what can go wrong with it. I got in at 40, it's at 20, it was stupid. And now I'm clawing my way back to trying to get back to break even uh, because of the volatility, right? I can't stand the name, but it's one of the most volatile names out there. So I love selling premium. We'll talk more about this. I got to finish my brief so we can trade. How about this? Billionaires are selling mega size stock blocks after what? This. I told you this was going to end. We move sideways, sell. Bounce, 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 that? No. So let me reassure folks if you're freaking out today. The narrative that has gotten us all the way up to here has not changed. At two o'clock, we're going to get the minutes from the last Fed meeting. They should be soothing. So I want to bust my butt and get a trade going here. But we have to finish our brief. Trust me. I don't think the market should be up here. Inflation is on fire. We see it. The Fed will have to raise interest rates. Money's getting more expensive. Uh, everything's getting more expensive, folks. Companies, CapEx, their capital expenditures are going to come in. Hell, they might start laying off people. When, not if, Joe Biden decides to destroy this country even more with higher taxes, what do you, th businesses aren't charities. I have a charity, but I also have a business. This is not a charity. If my stuff goes up, it's going up. The prices go up or people get clipped. Bad is coming. I made a prediction the other day and I'm sticking to it. Between a year to two years from now, we will see a massive 20% implosion in the market and a recession. I guarantee it. I also guarantee we're going to print money. It's going to be unpleasant for everybody else except us. It's coming. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Here is what might save us. A year and a half from now-ish is the midterm elections. Historically, the party in power, Democrats, get shellacked in a midterm. Democrats are starting to quietly panic about the midterms. Why? Because of everything I've just been ranting about. So if the Republicans somehow get back the House or the Senate, we're one vote away. They're one vote away. I'm not a Republican. I think the Republican Party is a joke. I'm more of a libertarian. I'm an independent. Um, maybe some of this stuff won't happen. But now you know why these people are acting uh, insane right now. 
Nancy Pelosi, every day she wakes up and drinks her five scotch with her lucky charms, um, knows the clock is ticking. They have to ram this stuff through. Let's get rid of the filibuster. Let's pack the court. D.C. statehood, Puerto Rico state. They're going nuts right now, folks. They're going to try and destroy this as quickly as possible. The only thing that will prevent a bear market and recession is the election of Republicans, period. <clears throat> Gee, Stevens is saying a 30% drop. I said a minimum of 20% because that's the definition of a bear market. So uh, what was yesterday's headline? Yesterday's headline was, oh, it refreshed on its own. What was yesterday's headline? Futures and stock market recovers as tech leads the way. Today's headline, stock fall, stocks fall, shares tied to the economy and retreat. Oh, one day, ladies and gentlemen, we went from sunshine and lollipops to, oh my God, we're all going to die. We're not going to die, folks. This is an absolute buying opportunity today. All right. Uh, what else tactically? Well, and this happened, guys. Big shorting of tech stocks by hedge funds. And, and th this was the largest short of hedge funds. One more time, I'll say it to you. Buy the rumor, sell the news. Massive run up in the earnings, sell off. And then that's going to happen. I think uh, my prediction is Jackson Hole. The Fed has their annual, I don't know if they're going to do it in person since they're all COVID Karens. Uh, man, the Panthers game last night was packed. Did you see the, the Carolina Hurricanes game? It was sold out. 100% capacity. Going to Starbucks today, still wearing masks. I'm like, what? Uh. The CDC last week, you see their flip out of the blue. Even blue state Democrat governors were like, uh, well, that the CDC just kind of caught us off guard. It's all been a pandemic, man, a scandemic. Initially, our we should have had a knee-jerk reaction, and we didn't. Trump just beat his impeachment, market record highs, unemployment record lows. Hey, sir, there's this virus coming. Yeah, whatever. Don't, don't pull that stuff with me. Um, read some of this stuff i always read what's going on in my group because uh this mastermind group man has saved my life <clears throat> uh I, i'm not sure when jackson hole is scheduled for but they usually make their biggest policy pronouncements at jackson hole all right let's get going guys s p let's take a look at the s p actually looking pretty good so we are in legally technically we are in accelerated retirement right now uh but since i'm not doing a weekly options brief we're gonna we're gonna do both right now i'm gonna place a weekly trade or a two-week trade and uh and also take a look at a long-term bullish one so we got to get moving all right s p 500 today not to shabby near-death experience and we're climbing this wall of worry lori whiz you don't think the big one will happen for a year i think it could happen any day lori it could happen any day i this is why we do a strategic brief iran uh israel could attack iran out of the blue in a no kidding shooting war the market will implode i guarantee it china invades taiwan black swan <clears throat> russia invades ukraine yeah North Korea, ballistic missile launch over Japan again. There's a lot of world events that could cause, literally, I agree with you, Lori. We're, we're, these are, we're playing musical chairs. Everybody I talk to in my mastermind group knows we're playing musical chairs. Uh, so you know when the big one comes, uh, liquidity will dry up. There, it's so funny that people look at like, well, I'm up this much in my trade right now, but if the market implodes, I'll get out. No, you won't. Not if there's folks, you need a, a buyer if you're selling something. If there ain't no buyer stepping up, you, you ain't getting out of your trade, especially in ETFs. ETFs will not have the liquidity for you to get out of a trade. I guarantee you, you need to be trading the indices, SPX, RUT, VIX. All right. Now, let's take a look at the VIX. <clears throat> if you were with me the other day or the past couple of weeks, what did I tell you? time to get long volatility. And then what did we do last week in one of our trade briefs? You ready for this, folks? 
we had a massive extended period of low volatility. What's the volatility index? The VIX. It's the SIBO, Chicago Board Options Exchange, uh, volatility index. You can ditch the word volatility and put in the word uncertainty. It's the uncertainty index. When something happens to freak the market out, the VIX spikes. Write this wisdom down. When, in, when uh, volatility is cheap, 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 you buy it. Right? When anything's cheap, you buy it. When volatility is cheap, you buy it. When it's expensive, you sell it. Last week, when we had a near-death experience, what happened? The VIX spiked, and what did Wiz do? I got bearish on volatility. I think this trade made three or four grand or whatever since last week. Everybody, all my current members, good. Got a couple of hell yes. So last week, ladies and gentlemen, so you have to think counterintuitive. Unless it's a big one, folks, volatility comes in. This is an initial freakout. Oh, my God, uh, a tech wreck. What did I say? This ain't the big tech wreck. Buy it. We're also going to do the same thing right now. So I am actually going to look to get <clears throat> good. Awesome, Christina. VXX closed my put for 220% profit and put on another one. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, let's. I'm going to go over to VXX, which is an ETF because there are some specific issues trading the VIX that we can talk about in your full throttle training. So VXX, let's go over to here. VXX should look at last week's little freak out out of VXX. Pop, drop, big pop. We're going to have a drop. Between now and next Friday, VXX should come in. Now, here's the only way I'm going to be wrong. Uh, Jay, yes, traded VIX last week and again yesterday. Profited today. Awesome. Good for you. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you believe that this is not the big one, I could be wrong, guys. Every one of these has been a buying opportunity. We had a near-death experience through the 50, kind of like back here. I think we're going to bounce. If you don't think we're going to uh, take a bounce, the next stop would be the 100-day. I don't think that's going to happen. Remember, at 2 o'clock, we get Fed minutes from last week. Matthew, VIX trades up over 2K. Look at these guys. Look at this, guys. I'm going to share these with you. Hang on, let me share a couple of these. That's awesome. Look at these three folks. These are all current members. Take those. And this is funny. You know, I, I love, you know, when I VIX trades, I love going to other like financial presentations. These guys show testimonials from like years ago. I'm like, why don't you show like current testimony? I, I, I take screenshots of what's going on in the chat box. Men lie, screenshots don't. All right, so here we go. VXX, I'm gonna do a bear call spread out the next Friday. I'm gonna pretty, I'm, we're gonna go pretty close to at the money. 44 and a half, 45. How many did I do last week? 150, 150, I think. <clears throat> No, I think I can do 300. 300, 300. Yep. All right. Here's the uh, here's what I'm gonna do. And again, folks, in the live trade briefs, I kind of cruise through the trade. Why? Because you already watched your full throttle training with a glass of wine hanging out for an hour, and you know what a bear call spread is. I do not sit here for an hour in a live trade brief and explain what a bear call spread is. That's not the time. This is the time to execute. Demo, do. In the full throttle training, I demonstrate in an hour, hour and a half, at night, hanging out. In the live trade briefs, I do. So let's cruise. Sell. I'm selling, not you. I'm selling 300. Why 300? Give me one minute. I'm selling 300 of next Friday's 44 and a half. If you believe, Wiz, we are going to have, each one of these had a strong bounce off the 50. Maybe you do Fridays. Maybe you can come into Friday's expiration. Okay. You know what? I'm doing Fridays. I'm selling 300 of Friday's 44 and a half calls. 
That's me saying, I believe by Friday, the VXX stays below 44 and a half. We'd need another dollar and 20, whatever, a pop in VXX. It can happen. I don't think it will. Okay. What if you're wrong, Wiz, between now and Friday, this is kind of a big one, and volatility spikes as the market goes down? Well, that's going to suck, but I'm going to buy some upside calls, so I am long above 45 in case the XX keeps running. Okay? So, I am selling these, buying these at, and it looks like the SPX is climbing as I'm talking, so I'm, I want to fire this trade. Uh, I'm going to try and get 13 cents. I'd go about a penny wide. Maybe, let me try and get 14. 14 cents plus or minus a penny. Uh, since I'm on the screen, I'll, I'll talk about the bad. Double the credit that you take in. If it goes up to 28 cents, maybe you eject and get out of the trade for minimum loss. Okay? That's my personal ejection point. Let me grab a screenshot of this so I can put this on the replay page. I'll save as VXS. Uh, quick reminder, accelerated retirement is supposed to be a longer dated portfolio, so I don't send out the text and emails for these. But since this is a weekly options trade, I am going to send out a text and email alert. Here's the risk page. The first place that your eyes go is right there, 10800 bucks. 10800 bucks is based on me trading uh 300 contracts, guys. I trade a larger portfolio. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not a financial advisor. That potential risk between now and Friday is okay with me. I put a check mark there. I'm the pilot in command of my own portfolio, man, not yours. And you're not in charge of mine. Since I'm okay with that risk, now I can look at the happy face and say, I might between now and Friday make 4,200 bucks. With this one trade, you could pay not only for a year of full throttle, max but also solo amazon isn't that awesome uh i'm gonna try and get 14 cents and i'm gonna fire this trade real money real capital and i need to give this to my investment clubs and then i'll send this out to the weekly options members You know what, since it, uh, I'm running a little long here, uh, we will do the long-term bullish trade tonight. That's what we're gonna do, because I need to get this text alert out. AON means all or none, all or none. AON means all or none, folks. So AON means I want all 300 of these contracts. If you don't click all or none, they can partially fill you, like 10 contracts, 12 contracts. It might not fill. I want all of them. Does that make sense? All or none. Jay Hollis, uh, why VXX and not the VIX? I will teach you that in full throttle training. There's, they're completely different products. You can trade the VIX. I love trading the VIX. For today, I'm doing a bear call spread. I do spreads on VXX. I straight call buy or buy puts with VXX. Personal preference. All right, let me send out this text alert. <clears throat> Or oh, sorry, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, with VIX, ladies and gentlemen, I do straight calls or straight puts. With VXX, I do spreads. I do I do the spreads in VXX. Sorry if I misstated that. You're gonna learn why in full throttle training. Okay, guys, this is all my free training. I'm I'm like giving a ton of content here. This this is why you join. You I I will teach you all of this stuff. How's my Amazon doing? All right, Amazon, the mods look good today. Microsoft, Amazon, Apple. <clears throat> Charles, may have misunderstood, but thought you said next Friday. I did, and then I changed it. I'm getting more tactical. I brought it into uh, this Friday. You could do both. 
guys, there's the potential for two trades. If you really, really believe that the market's going to keep climbing up a little bit here and volatility is going to come in before Friday, well, then you might believe that it definitely should come in for next Friday. So it's it, that's I changed my mind during the life of the me covering the trade weekly. Oh, look at this, guys. This this was our trade last week. We did this weekly options, the bear call spread. We we did one of these last week. Beautiful trade. All right, 14 cent credit. Plus or minus what they say two two cents here. Maybe eject at 28. Folks, with the, so the math on that, if I take in a 14 cent credit, maybe I cut my losses at 28. With a credit spread, my SOP is I close it if I'm looking at a 70, 80, or a 90% profit. So I'm going to buy the 45 calls. I'm going to sell the 44 and a half calls. <clears throat> That's out to Friday, May 21, expiry. I'm doing 300 contracts, not telling you what to do. Uh, you're just eavesdropping on what I'm doing, man. Whoa. Delete. All right, there we go. All right, so this is what the text alert is going to look like. And then <clears throat> I'll go make the email. These fire at the exact same time. Sometimes I get the email quicker uh, than the text. So for all the folks at work uh, who couldn't attend weekly options, they're gonna they're gonna get this. Carrie, I love your teaching style. Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate that. Who's running away from us because I'm talking about it. <laughs> I'm pretty damn good with this stuff, folks. I do this for a living. I, I felt it. I'm like, this is why I needed to stop ranting. I, I needed to go a little quicker. All right, let me insert the images of the trade. I appreciate that. Yeah, awesome. Well, welcome aboard. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, my phone's been buzzed and I haven't looked at it. So that, that means people are signing up. Not sure, but I'm glad you got your slot. Uh, let me get rid of this. This was from last week. We did a bearish double vertical last week. So this is, this is a great tactic, folks. When you believe the market isn't doing the big one, but it does get a spike in volatility, get bearish on it, man. Sell into that pop. I'm glad this happened today. I got a chance to talk about my yoga, my meditation, and and get bearish. <clears throat> we'll talk about the longer dated accelerated retirement trade tonight in the training. Chris, please po repost the sign-up link. I didn't receive it earlier. Stand by. Let me blast my text alert out here. Correct. I'm only opening annual memberships right now, not monthly. If we don't get all our 50, I will open some monthly to get the 50. 50 is a good, 25 people complained about because we shut the doors and 75 to 100 is way too many people. All right. So there's 490 weekly options members that are going to get a text right now. Unfortunately, guys, the, the free folks, you're not going to get this text and email because they're not cheap. Uh, sending a text of I think I looked 3,200 people had registered so far for these free briefs. So I'm not sending a text alert to them. And like I said yesterday, some people are like, what is this, spam? And then I get my texting service uh, sends me nasty notes. So, <clears throat> uh, The reason the trade is, quote, running away is because the market's slowly climbing up and VIX is coming in. Maybe you roll. All right, so that, let me give you the uh, the link here. So here's this is this will be some good live training. You ready for this? When you get the text in the email, it says that range. What did I say? Plus or minus two cents. If it's outside of that range, that means maybe I'm going to cancel this one and roll the strikes down. Let me let me copy this trade. Let me cancel it. I'm going to copy it. 
I'm going to go down a, a, a strike. I'll go down to the 44s and try and get filled on this one. And it's hard. Look at that. Look at the rally here. Damn it. Sweet. Uh, Kerry, I'm, I, I, I'm out of time. I'm not, I can't really cover Tesla. Not a Tesla guy. I pound Tesla into the dirt. It's a $90 stock. If you value it as a, folks, Tesla, you know why they had good earnings last quarter? They sold Bitcoin. If they hadn't sold Bitcoin, they would, the company would have lost money last quarter or, or they invested in Bitcoin. Tesla's a Ponzi scheme. Don't get me started on Tesla. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hang out on this one. This is my new spread. I rolled it down 50 cents. So there's a perfect live example of what I do, what, what that range means when I say, hey, I'm going to try and get filled on this trade at 14 cents plus or minus 2 cents, meaning if it's outside of that range, it's either too cheap or too expensive for me. Maybe I have to adjust the strikes. Subtle or not so subtle plug to watch the full throttle training on spreads. So... For all the people who are buying right now and getting one of their annual memberships, you need to go here. Underneath, the first thing you need to do, folks, when become a member is watch this, the getting started brief. Okay. Let me put this in the chat box as well. Why? Because I cover everything at Top Gun Options where to sign up for this brief, where to do this, the ready room, blah, blah. Everything is in the getting started brief. Watch this quick video on how to get started with Top Gun Options. So write this down, all the new members. Phone's buzzing a lot now, which means there's perfect. Watch the getting started brief. Step one on the top of your checklist, getting started brief. <clears throat> Step two for all the new members underneath member content is to go here to full throttle. And you're going to go watch all the previous full throttle sessions from June or whenever that was, March. Iron condors, double verticals, bearish spreads. So right now, if I ripped through, which I did, that bear call spread on VXX, go watch the bearish spread training. Okay? I'm leaving tomorrow morning for San Diego and Mexico. I'm back Tuesday. You have all that time to watch these, to download your manuals, to get up to speed, okay? So for all the members signing up, all the new folks, getting started video and the full throttle training, okay? You know what, Kathy, I've, I've heard of that. The, uh, the fourth turning, I need to read that. My 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 crypto one of my crypto Scientologist buddies told me I got to read that. The, the, so the reason the trade quote is running so people who got a bunch of people got filled at the fourteen if it's down to twelve cents and they did three hundred contracts you just made three hundred or six hundred bucks you're welcome. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take a look at this later. But. Yeah, well, let's go take a look at VXX. There you go. It's already coming in, man. <laughs> yep, told you. There's volatility coming in. That's what I think is going to happen. Yes, you could. Now, for folks who are, aren't kind of familiar with spreads, maybe you go buy some puts, right? Maybe you come down here. If you think VXX is going to come in by next week and we get a strong bounce off this 50, go buy like the 40 puts. And as VXX comes in, those puts could make money, right? That's exactly uh, I like the way you think. Absolutely correct. <clears throat> All right. So here you go. Here's an example of, and I'll show you right on my phone. 
there it is. There's the there's the text alert I got, and in my inbox is the email alert. At the top of the email, it's the I just paste the text in here in case I don't know you didn't get the text, but who cares? Because now you got pictures. Nobody else does this, guys. I send a text alert and an email alert, and as soon as I get off this brief and the uh, and the video renders, I'm gonna post the uh, the replay up on the member page. All right, let me look at some stuff here, and I think I'm good. We'll 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 talk about the longer term AR trade, accelerated retirement trade uh, tonight in our training. Okay. All right. Good stuff. What's this? Oh, check this out. I'm going to be they're they're filming a. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to be in this Discovery Science episode. They're coming down the show. I'm going to take the host flying in the back of the L-39, and we're talking about UFOs. So they're coming down here in a couple weeks to do some filming. That's going to be cool. No comment on UFOs. All right. Good stuff. Uh... All right, I went over. AR is usually an hour long. I got to go because at 2 o'clock, I am going to jump on my mastermind call because we're going to uh, go through the Fed minutes uh, and see if there's anything big in there. So make sure you stop by tonight. All right, good stuff. Nope, I covered all. We're good, man. This is awesome. Everybody having fun? Irina, uh, if you are saying that market is going down, are you playing VIX short term? I I'm not saying the market's going down. I'm saying the exact opposite. This this isn't the big one, guys. This is if this were going to be a big one, this this would have more traction. I mean, the Dow when the, I started this brief, I think the Dow was down 370. We're only 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 down 200. Uh, Irina, I'm doing the exact opposite. I'm getting bearish on volatility and bullish on the market. Every one of these I've told you to buy, 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 and that's worked out. I'm the guy who's pretty damn good at nailing the don't buy, look out below. So no, I'm, I'm not. So your first answer is, I don't think the market's going down. The second answer is, are you playing VIX short term? Technically, yes, by getting bearish on volatility. Yes. You're the best, Wiz. Thanks, Scott. Thank you, Lori. I appreciate it. Thanks, Vanessa. Awesome, guys. Great time. I got to get going. Uh, good stuff. Here's the link to buy. Final time. If I don't get 50 annual, I, I might let some monthlies go tonight. But don't don't count on that, guys. If I, I prefer working with people and, and training with people who are are motivated and ready ready to go, ready to take the leap. You can do the monthly if we have some tonight. Uh, and yeah, down the road you can. Uh, <clears throat> Upgrade into an annual membership, obviously. Uh, let's see if there's any more questions. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. I appreciate it. Thanks, Graham. You bet, Maria. Good stuff. All right, that's it. For my current members, I'll get the replay posted on the member page. I'm actually going to put this on the Accelerate Retirement and the Weekly Options page since we just kind of did a weekly options trade. Uh, Daniel, if you want to do – I don't have that link handy. If you want to do – yeah, we do. Topkinoptions.com. We have quarterly memberships. Let me find that link. Uh, quarterly? Is it? Would it be that luck? Q U A. No, that's not it. Uh, Dan, I, I I forget what the link is. Uh, yeah, we can do that. We just did. Uh, um, do me a favor, guys. If you want to do quarterly, it's cheaper than an annual but it's more than a monthly duh if you want to do a quarterly membership let me write that down i'll try and get the link for tonight uh, just do me dan do me a favor right now email uh support at top gun options uh and and they will send you the quarterly link so yeah well i'll, I'll open up quarterlies now i need to do a better job at that my, my apologies so 
Awesome. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Happy hunting. Uh, make sure you hedge. God bless. And I'll see you tonight at 8 p.m. for our last free stuff before we close the doors and get airborne uh, without you unless you sign up. Okay, so uh, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tonight. Cheers.